Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Tonight we're going to make a simple dish, macaroni and cheese. We're going to add a little chicken to it to make it a little more nutrition, nutritional. We've got our water boiling here. We have five cups of milk, in which I'm heating up a little bit. We have our chicken. I started out with a little over two pounds of chicken breast cook them and you ended up with a pound and a half you lose about 30 percent on the chicken I have seven tablespoons of butter breadcrumbs for the top that's one pound of cheese which is four cups two teaspoons of mustard dry mustard and almost a half a cup of flour and we're going to start with our macaroni get that on Got my salt here for the salted water. And we're going to use one pound of elbows. And we're going to let that start cooking. For about eight minutes, you cook that until it's a little tender. Now we're going to start in this pot, we're going to draw. seven tablespoons of butter in here and we're going to start heating this up okay we got our elbows getting cooked and we just heated up our butter and now I'm gonna and I got my milk warming up a little I don't like to put it in cold so we got this, we're going to make a nice white sauce for this. It'll end up being a cheese sauce. When you do that, you just get your butter, melt it up a little, and then mix in this flour. Make sure there's no lumps, get it mixed up pretty good. Don't brown it because you want it kind of white. And you'll see that it's kind of bubbling a little. You could do it with a whisk if you like, but Let's not get crazy. Okay, now we take, as that's coming together, we'll take a spoonful of warm milk. And we're going to throw that in there and mix at the same time. And when you see that liquid coming up back to a boil, you see it's starting to thicken up there. And you keep doing that. stubborn to get lumps out, no lumps. See, now when that starts to bubble again, we're going to be ready with our next milk. Give this a chance to come up to a little bubble here. See it's bubbling? That's good. This is how you prevent getting lumps. Still so pretty good. A little at a time. When it starts to bubble, you add a little more. it up again till it bubbles again. Make sure there's no lumps. Bubbling yet. We want to put, throw our pepper in here. I mean our mustard in here. Sorry. Get that in there. And we're going to throw salt in it a little while. Now we're going to add a little more milk. Now we're 
we're going to cook this for about 20 minutes. Stir it till it gets up to the boil again. I'm going to add a little more salt to it. Two teaspoons of salt. And that's it for now. We'll come back in a minute or two. Okay, now we have our macaroni. It's done. We put it in a bowl on the table. And it's ready to go. And we simmered this for about 20 minutes. See, nice little bubbles. Just to blend it nice together. Now with this, we're going to add half of this cheese, about two cups. And we're going to melt that in there. You can even shut it off and do it. Now we have our oven heated up to 375. And you see it's all melted up, right? Now we're going to take this and we're going to mix it we're gonna first we're gonna mix this here cheese. Oh, I wanted it on top, I'm sorry. I'm gonna mix that up. We're gonna take our sauce and we're gonna place it. a fancy name for this white sauce, bechamel. We just call it cream sauce. Chicken to it. Mix that around into it. Okay, now we have it all mixed in here pretty good. Now we're going to just Place it in our greased nine by uh, forgot what size it is nine by seventeen nine by thirteen. This is not good. This way is too slow. We have it all in here. Now we're going to just lay this cheese on top. I wouldn't call this a dietetic dish, but it looks good and it tastes great. Put a little breadcrumbs on this. I think that's enough. And you take it, 
and you put it in that oven for about 30 minutes until it's bubbling. And that's it. I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, that's been in there for about 20 minutes and it's bubbling, as you can see. Take it out, put it on the rack here, and you should, oops. And let that sit for about 10 minutes to cool down a little. And there you go. You have it, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, we're all done, as you can see. I'm not gonna scoop it out right now because I'm gonna bring it over to my grandchildren and have them have it for dinner. And don't forget to subscribe to Cooking with Grandpa. And when you do subscribe, hit that little bell on the side so they get notified of our up and coming videos. Stay well and eat well. Bye now.